Yep. Um, so again, this is the um, user interface here. This is our media function. Uh, covers anything in the radio from AM, FM, XM radio, um, internet radio. Um, we also have TuneIn and Slacker under internet radio there. Um, if you were to connect your phone via Bluetooth, you can also stream music that way. Um, we would be able to mute some devices there. Um, navigation here, gives, you can give you turn-by-turn -turn navigation, Google Maps, live time traffic, um, everything here controlled just like you on your iPhone or Android device. Very easy to do, kind of zooming in, zooming out. Um, aside from that, if you were to choose a destination, you can click on that and you can navigate to that location. Um, all these red marks you see on here are Tesla supercharger stations. Um, they'll charge about 80% of your battery in 30 minutes. Um, so it's a very fast charge and they're guaranteed free to charge up for the lifetime of the Model S. Um, as long as you have the larger battery. If you have the smaller battery, you can upgrade to include that. Um, so that's all there. Uh, energy usage. So as you're driving, it'll show your energy usage either instantaneously or your average usage over the last 5, 15, or 30 miles. Um, as you can see, we had a pretty similar route. So all of our patterns in terms of accelerating and decelerating is very similar. Um, Full web, web capability, um, so you can hop on the internet. We have a 3G connection that streams through the vehicle. Um, so you hop on the internet, you can pretty much do everything except for watch video. Uh, there's no flash player, no HTML5, there's no way to watch video. Um, but everything else you can pretty much do. You can find other charging stations, you can read articles, preferably the passenger reading articles, not the driver. Um, <laughs> should be paying attention to the road. Um, had this rear-facing camera here as well, so it actually works while we're driving. It's a very wide-angle lens. And what quality? What uh, megapixel is that? Um, I'm not sure the exact megapixels. It's, okay. it's definitely HD. I'd yep. say somewhere between like 720 and 1080, but yep. I'm not entirely sure. Um, and then this would be the setting for your phone. So if you had any, um, if you had to connect your phone via Bluetooth, all your contacts would be loaded into your phone okay. as well. Okay. Um, and we are in the Model S. Correct. Yes. This Model S is the standard 85. So okay. this is our larger battery. Um, but our non-performance version. Um, so the black car that we had there was our performance version. Um, so the only difference is a different tuning of the motor. Um, the actual car itself, the chassis, the battery pack, the motor is the same size, all that's the same, it's just the tuning of the motor that's different. And on a full tank, how, or full, I guess, tank or charge, <laughs> sorry, I should yep. say. On a full tank, uh, you how many? Average about 265 miles. On the and track. what's that in kilometers, like 400-ish? Uh, yeah, yep. something like that. Yep. No worries. Yep. And then down here under controls, you have all the information. So you can slide this around. You can do it here or you can do a touch in here. You can pretty much open the center to whatever percentage you want that to. If you want exactly a 33%, you got it. Um, driving settings here, a um, couple different steering modes. So right now I've been driving with the sport mode. You can also change the standard or comfort. Just kind of changes the feel of the steering wheel, how uh, tight it is. Um, regenerative braking is the one big difference you'll notice in this car versus the standard gasoline powered car. Um, so actually, whenever you lift your foot off the accelerator, the car will slow itself down. Um, you get a lot of life out of your brake pads on the car. Um, you know, we'll have owners that get anywhere from, you know, 50 to upwards of 75, even more sometimes, a uh, thousand miles of getting um, on their brake pads. So pretty incredible that regenerate brake. And there's really no downside to it. It just recharges the battery when that's occurring. Um, creep kind of simulates a first gear. Uh, when it's on, if I were to lift my foot off the brake, if the car was in drive, it will roll forward like an automatic car. If creep was off, it would sit neutral like a normal car. So you have a lot of different options. Uh, we also have the air suspension setting in this car as an option. Um, so you can always raise and lower the suspension if need be. Uh, other than that, a couple different displays here. Settings, you actually pull up the entire owner's manual of the car. So if you ever had any questions about um, opening and closing the glove box, it'll tell you exactly how to do it, where the button is. It would find you this button right here. You can pop open the glove box. Pretty easy. Yep, other than that, that's pretty much the entire screen itself here. This is the shifter knob, so flicking up would go into reverse, flicking down would go into drive, and pushing the single button in would put it into park. Yep, okay. and so as of now, the car's off. I just put my foot on the brake, so now the car is on. Doesn't you don't even feel it or hear it? Can't really feel or hear it. Wow. Sometimes the car with the air suspension will auto level when it's in drive, um, but sometimes you can't even feel that. Um, so all you have to do is flick this down to drive. <laughs> and we're in drive. And we're Wow. So those supercharge stations, do they 